when you do something that is super alert, you will find that there is an intoxication in that. I can have you all stoned out because the substance is not outside, the substance is within. If you look at me, you would think I am smoking, right? If you look at me, you would think I am smoking, right? Please look at me. It's many times happened to me. People who are smoking these things in Himalayas and other places, they always invite me because when they look at me, they think I must be a smoker <laughs> uh, We need to understand this. Whatever chemicals we put into the system, either in the form of this or that, whichever way, essentially it can only ignite something within us. It cannot by itself cause too much to us. Only those kind of things which will put you to sleep totally, like an anesthetic, they work in a different way, they completely knock you down. But all the others which have some sense of experience, they're only stimulating something within you. Now the question is, are you self-start or push-start? If you know how to stimulate yourself, you can sit here in great pleasure. Otherwise, you have to put something from outside. Shiva was not such a cripple that he needed chemicals from outside. He was stoned, no question about that. But by what is another matter. He is not using substance, he is the substance. So, I can make that happen for you. If you can be with me in a certain way, I can have you all stoned out. Because the substance is not outside, the substance is within. So, those who want to emulate Shiva, first they must sit unmoving for three months <laughs> and then maybe they can smoke also. This happened, Adi Shankara was walking, he's a brisk walker he must have been because by the… at the age of thirty-two he left. Before that, from the age of twelve to thirty-two, in those twenty years, he crisscrossed India a few times, north to, from Kerala, right up to Badrinath and back and east, west, everything. The man must have been a really brisk walker. <laughs> to do so much walking in a short span of life, because in between he produced thousands of pages of literature. He must sit somewhere to write all this. So he was walking briskly, behind him a bunch of his disciples trotting. Then he saw outside a village, those days in India, even just about twenty-five, thirty years ago, these drink shops, the country drink, you know, usually is rack or toddy, they were only outside the village, never it was brought into the village. Now it's in the village, next to your house, in front of your child's school, they're selling alcohol, that's different. Those days, always it's outside the town. So there a few people will gather and they're drinking. Shankara looked at them in their inebriated condition. They looked at him, he looked straight and upright, you know. Drunkards always think they are having the best time, unfortunately <laughs> They always think they are having the best time of their life and everybody else is missing it. So they made some comments. So without a word, Shankara walked into the shop. There was a pot full of a rack, 
he just took it and drank it and kept it there and walked. So the disciples saw their guru drank up a whole pot full of arak. Then he started walking briskly, behind him they're trotting among themselves discussion. When our guru can drink, why can't we drink? They just needed an excuse. <laughs> so, they were discussing this and he knows what's happening. So he came to the next village, they're walking through. There was a blacksmith working with some molten iron. He just went, picked up that thing and drank it and walked on. They knew this they don't want to drink. <laughs> so, even if Shiva smoked, I don't think he did. He was stoned for sure. Not with something as petty as some weed. <laughs> for sure he is stoned, no question, always. Even if he did smoke, can you do everything else that he does, I'm asking. Qualification is, three months if you can sit unmoving, I will provide you the substance. <laughs> so, people thinking by smoking marijuana and feeling little smoked out, all that's happening is you're getting little hazy in your head. If getting hazy is spirituality, then I don't want to be spiritual. For me, the biggest thing is this crystal clear way of living. Getting hazy is not life, that happens in death, yes. Life will be hazy at that time, when you're sick and dying, Life will be hazy when you're alive. Clarity is the most important thing and clarity can be intoxicating. When you do something that is super alert, you will find that there is an intoxication in that. Why do you think all these people jumping off mountains, jumping off airplanes, doing incredibly risky things is because in being super alert, there's another kind of intoxication, but they're doing it by doing so many physical things. If you could sit here and do it, then I would say an element of Shiva has come to you. If you can simply sit here and you're super alert, so alert that you're stoned, that is a way to get stoned. Not smoking weeds, leave the weeds for the cows, okay? <laughs> Human beings can do better things and today the entire world is talking about it because they haven't found any other better way. There is substantial research on this, they're saying eight point drop in one's IQ will happen. You don't have to go to any research. Those who are generally on this smoke, if you see them, they're acting peaceful but you don't give them their substance for two days, you will see how cranky they become. Yes, every day you give the dose, they're nice, peaceful. You will be peaceful when you're hazy, but that peace is of no value. And one thing is don't give them the substance for three days, you will see they will explode. They will not be peaceful if you take away the substance. Today, of course, it's become legal in many states in America. Many big corporates are getting into it. It is just that, because you don't know how to handle your brain, which is not your making. Previous generations have evolved and come to this place and you don't know how to handle this. You want to smoke it down a little bit so that it feels peaceful. That's not the answer. You take away the substance, for some time, then you will see your peace will fly. There's nothing spiritual about any chemical. If you have not found any better use for your brain, 
except freaking, marijuana will do good things. At least you don't bother anybody, you smoke out and you simply sit somewhere. If you found better brain… better use for your brains, that your brain can do something worthwhile, something creative, something useful, then that's not the way to go.